Hello friends, I'm going to inform you today on controlled ovarian stimulation and IUI procedure. This is one of the common therapy which is suggested to many infertile couples. What do we understand by this? Herein, we are doing controlled ovarian stimulation. That means we are giving certain drugs to the lady so that instead of forming one egg, she forms multiple eggs, maybe two or three. And then we do intrauterine insemination wherein husband's washed semen is inserted into her uterine cavity. What is the basic ethos? The ethos is we just increase the population of eggs and the amount of sperm in the uterine cavity and the tube so that the chance and the probability of pregnancy increases. As you all understand, every lady produces one egg per month. And if the couple is suffering from unexplained infertility, where she is really producing one egg for her per month and they are having regular intercourse but not achieving a pregnancy. In such a scenario, we can give some medicines, especially a combination of oral medicines and injections or injections alone in the form of HMG or gonalef, so that we get two or three eggs. Having multiple eggs and having more sperms in the uterine cavity will definitely then increase the probability of pregnancy. Most of the young women will respond to injections by forming two or more eggs. But in the older women where, who are beyond the age of 38, when the number of eggs and the AMH is very low, many a times giving injections could be futile. Because in spite of giving injections, the number of eggs formed may not be very high because the basic raw material is low. In such a scenario, we don't mind giving them simple tablet of clomiphene or a combination of clomiphene and letrozole so that they form one good egg and we can do IUI with that. When we talk of predictors of success of IUI, one of the important predictors of success is having multiple eggs. So having two eggs is definitely better than one when it comes to a procedure of IUI. Thank you.